So, you know, the Le Batard show plays a game called Looks Like. It's a great game. Does Jason Garrett look like a ventriloquist doll from a black and white 60s TV show? The ventriloquist, of course, is Wade Phillips. <laughs> I know who my favorite looks like subject is, and that's got to be Ben McAdoo. That's the far and away best. Is it? He's not a blank slate. He's a malleable slate. You can almost put anything on Ben McAdoo and go, yep. Security guard at the mall? Yep. Dad? What is it? Looks like divorce? Is that one of them? Ben McAdoo looks like divorce? Yeah, I can see that. Does Paul Feinbaum look like the bank manager frantically fumbling with his keys as the bank robber shouts into his ear, you got one more try to open this safe, boss? <laughs> Does Ryan Tannehill look like the kind-hearted and popular high school athlete who falls in love with the regular girl who's actually a supermodel in plain clothes, trying hard to show her that he's more than just a jock? So they have a couple for me, right? Um, And this is the latest. I haven't heard it yet. You, you have a mad lack or do I have it? Right here in the corner? I've got it. I can hit it for you. Okay, so this is this is what the latest one is? Uh, does Will Kane look like the guy pulled over on the side of the highway in his convertible trying to talk his way out of a speeding ticket by angrily reminding the officer, my taxes pay your salary, pal? Oh, no. Oh, no. cha -ching. Time oh, for some ads. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What do you think, Srudy? Does it work? I like the, uh, was it Joel Osteen? I like that one better. Well, Joel Osteen is not them. They did do one, like, he looks like a preacher saying, hold your hand up against the screen, hold your hand up to the screen, <laughs> re receive a blessing or something like that. One like equals one prayer. <laughs> yeah. And I have heard Joel Osteen. The most common is Joel Osteen, and lately it's been Jacob deGrom. I don't know if that's when deGrom cut his hair. I don't know if that's what it is, but I've been getting some deGrom here and there. I thought it was going to be he gets pulled over and asked, do you know who I am? I can see that. See, the, the character that I'm painted as, both physically and personality-wise, is I'm the bad guy in the movie. But not like the bad guy that's the formidable opponent, the bad guy that you go through because it was easy pickings to get to the formidable opponent. I've heard people say the, 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 the coke sniffer in Die Hard, you know, the one who's going to make a deal and work it all out. Do you remember that? You know, he goes in to talk to Hans. And he's like, I, I got this covered. This is, he's the slimy, you know, backstabbing, might have been having an affair with Bruce Willis's wife or at least trying to. And he's like, I can go in and deal with Hans the terrorist. And he's rubbing his teeth, you know. Listen, fellas, I know there's a deal here to be made. I can do that deal. And so I get that character That's a, That's almost more disrespectful because they're just saying, like, you're a bad guy, but you're not really that – you're not bad, bad guy. You're like the weak bad guy. That's exactly what it is. I'm the weak it's a, bad it's a guy. It's a diss and a backhanded diss. Absolutely. If that makes sense. Play it again. That's that's the insinuation. Like when you hear this, this is the guy trying to negotiate with Hans in Die Hard, but just in a different aspect of his life. Does Will Kane look like the guy pulled over on the side of the highway in his convertible trying to talk his way out of a speeding ticket by angrily reminding the officer, my taxes pay your salary, pal? There's the Republican no. part, right? Oh, no. Yeah, there's the other angle. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. People like to put you in a box. Yeah. I don't mind being put in a box. Boxes can be fun. They're, the problem is they're inaccurate boxes. Would you say, you've known me for a while, they're inaccurate. Are they, are they accurate boxes? I think for people who don't know you, it's, it, yes, it's accurate. What are you I nodding at, you. Liam? Are they accurate? Are the boxes accurate? I'm just agreeing with Saruti. For people that don't know you, which I'm assuming his listeners don't, it's accurate. On the surface, Weak, bad guy? you might be unlikable. <laughs> yeah, on the surface, I don't like you.